Do you remember the last time you took a shit without your phone? We'll take the bag and that with us. That in the front seat. I find it quite refreshing because you know I work with a lot of you know, social media people, and it's true you're not you're not really that fussed about the phone. You're like, hey, take the phone, whatever. I take my pictures. You know, quite chill. Like, it's the thing I got when I started studying acting. You start to study people, the way they move their hands, the way they interact, the way they look around. Because seeing people, you, have, you memorize things. You say, maybe one day you have to use it. You say, oh, I want to use that kind of expression, that kind of way of moving your hands. You know, it's all about you know details of a character of a movie or something. So. I started looking people when I got into the fashion business right after I studied at the school so I was two years into acting like so you were doing that I was a nerd of acting techniques I went to the um, to the fashion business and I realized I was one of the first on the phone but I realized observing people that everyone around me was this thing and I kind of felt I don't know I was in the wrong place you always you talk to someone they're like this you always feel like oh this guy doesn't want to talk to me or like you know just give me half, half is that what they feel when I'm on the phone I don't want to be antisocial I don't want to be like that kind of guy so I started to really think about when I'm on the phone if it's something useful of the business the thing. Right. do you remember the last time you took a shit without your phone <laughs> Yo. Make a tiger face. A tiger face? Uh, raw. <laughs> I'm basically um, trying to find the right words to get buy-in from our next influencer, Tony, because there's a bit of a mismatch between his vision and the client's vision. I'm trying to find a way to make it work for everyone involved. We're heading to the embassy to pick up our um, Visa, hopefully, we're able to go. Here's some money, and I'd like, uh, I'd like the visa, please. And then we're gonna go back to the hotel and do the voiceover recording. Et voilà. My name is Marina Di Baio, and I'm a street styler and model. My model skin complexion and eyes. My model skin complexion and eyes looks more. My model skin complexion and eyes look more vibrant and youthful. Vibrant and youthful. You said vibrant. Yeah. Mm. I heard that too. But yeah. I mean, it goes same way. It's also the accent. So yeah. It's a vibrant. <laughs> <laughs> it was a problem on youthful, but on vibrant, I think it's vibrant. I always say vibrant. Yeah. Once, yeah. once, okay, once you said vibrant. Once you said vibrant. Once I said vibrant. I was concentrating on you. <laughs> Hello. Basically, I, I said to him like the, the original concept, you know, the mysterious shots of him going out and finding things is going to stay the same. Um, but we're going to have the, the colorful tree um, placed as his inspiration. So the video is going to good or as you as you as you want. Yeah. So yeah. I've said to him, the the video is going to be more about the journey, his inspiration, not the final product. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So the entire thing is, you know, he goes out, he uses the phone, he collects his inspiration, he goes back, mm -hmm. he's painting close-ups. We don't need anything finished. Yeah. And then if he wants, he can go and based on the tree, he can produce some work in a few weeks from now yeah um, and then he can release it and so the the project is almost like an announcement That's and a teaser yeah. for a better might be bigger a better project yeah. 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 Outside. Outside. Want it closer no I want to want to see this tree Man, we go in like, you know, we're not trying to be something we're not, you know? Yeah. We're connecting brands with youth culture and I think you need to be authentic when you do that. 
and I think there's a lot of potential in doing that. Why, if you have some asshole in a creative agency who's never built anything for himself, right? All he cares about is winning a, a, a um, palm, a palm tree, and Ed Khan, you know? And he's like, oh yeah, my creative is better. No, you know, this creative is And they're like very snobbish. Oh, we do TV advertising. And then you've got you guys. You've actually got attention. People actually give a shit. People actually consume the stuff you put out there. You know, you should be the creatives. Do you want to get, get checked in? Yeah. Is a reservation number? Yeah, wait. Do you have the... Feel it when you have the eyelashes on? Uh, not if not if there's nothing in it, but like you have to keep it clean. Sometimes if there's a dust particle, it makes your eyes water like this morning, and it's just a bit annoying. And the fact that when you wake up, you can't see anything. Just careful with your phone then. Don't stay on too much. It's the night mode. So yeah. The light is yellow. Thank you. Can I go with him? Oh yes, you can. Yeah. I'm so proud of all the stickers. I love the weirdest places like Ushuaia, like North China, Beijing, the oldest place. <laughs> nice one, man. Yo, man. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. I'll see you soon in uh, Barcelona. Yeah. Man. Such a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, Mariano is off. We're um, just heading back to the client um, to prep for the next shoot, which is on, on Monday. Um, I've got a couple of flight changes to make. I need to speak to the client about Tony's vision. Um, and I need to fix my contact lenses because it's really annoying me. All right, check it out. Check it out. Let's get some food. Then let's buy your equipment, your laptop or extra hard drive or whatever you need. Then we'll come back here. Then we'll check into the other hotel and then we'll go and film. We've got um, a bit of time to explore Paris. I think everything is in order for Tony's arrival tomorrow. There were some complications yesterday on getting signed off on the creative idea his creative vision, but I think we managed to do it. The lesson here is that if you're working with influencers, you have to involve them earlier because it's their audience. They're not just actors. You can't just go, here, hold the phone, then show your millions of fans that you're holding a phone. Like, it's just not that simple. And that's still very much the mindset that a lot of the, uh, the clients that we work with have. Sell, sell. Make it really obvious that, you know, you're marketing a phone and talk to them about the KSP, but if people aren't in the right frame of mind, taking their time and selling to them is going to do more damage than good. It's 2017. That's a sick shot. Yo, buying a new piece of equipment for Monsieur because this 2011 MacBook is not working. What year is it? 2017. What do we want? Value. Yeah. <laughs> we want value, brother. Man, Uber's good. One of the few things that actually work. Just posting a little update. Here I am at the Mandarin Oriental. I've just bought this lovely piece of equipment. It is absolutely fantastic. They've removed all the USB plugins. They made it massively convenient. I'm gonna just borrow this lovely pen and somehow and look, hey. look at this. You don't convince like people to buy something that they don't love. It's about figuring out, right, what people want. There you go, there it is. Is that it? Yeah. You sure? Uh, you're filming me opening this uh, new laptop that we just bought and now you can edit fast. <laughs> <laughs>